I'm James Daynard, and today I'm gonna to show you the most important thing that you need to know when it comes to flipping. Flipping houses is a risky investment class, but I was able to scale massively by running my numbers and underwriting deals accurately. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I underwrite my flip deals by using this awesome calculator. You can try it for yourself and follow along with me at biggerpockets.com. When you're flipping houses, it's all about the math. What are you working with? What's the style of house? What's your bedroom bathroom count? What's your square footage? How much renovation is it gonna take to get it to highest and best use and then really verify those comps that it's the same like for like product inside that geographical location. And it's not just about the field house. I was actually touring a property. It was in Seattle, amazing property. It was a cool mid century, had cano views of the lake really hard to find but there was a major issue with this house it had a lack of parking there was a one car parking stall that was kind of weird off a busy road even though the house was the right style the right look the right view which i love and those are the homes that i like to renovate i knew what my rehab budget is i knew what the purchase price was but it was about establishing that comp value and when i pulled these comparables within the radius of this property it was about half mile the thing that i noticed even if properties had killer views had killer architecture but they had a lack of parking that big negative impact they were selling for nearly 10 to 15 percent lower so that was a difference of over two to three hundred thousand dollars in a value swing which was all the profit in the deal setting up these core underwriting principles in this core understanding of does the math work or not tells you when you should buy or not and it helps you stay out of falling in love with the house because the thing is these houses are not for us to love to start using the calculator that i use to underwrite my deals click the link in the description below and use the code proflip24 to get unlimited access to this calculator into so many other pro tools. This code will save you over $100 today and even better, over thousands as you learn to scale your real estate business just like me. That's ProFlip24. All right, so we're gonna take you through live right now whether I should buy this deal or not and will I actually make money? So here's the bigger pockets calculator. Again, you go to the tools section. Once you go to tools, you come down, there's a rental property calculator, Berg property calculator, and then there's our fix and flip one. You click on the calculator and it takes you to your landing page. The cool thing about this, you can add a photo of the front of the house. Then you can make your own report. Then you're gonna start inputting the information. The great thing about this calculator and Performa is they're gonna save you a report. Um, so you don't have to print it out, save it, stick it under your desk, and then hopefully not lose it like I would for sure. I'm a notorious for losing that kind of stuff. So the benefit is it's gonna save it all for you. You're gonna put in your property address to get it, the report started. And then we're gonna get into estimates. Once you load in the property, you're gonna go, what is the after repair value? You find the after repair value by pulling a detailed CMA for fixed up properties with the same bedroom and bathroom count. After we did this, it was worth 625,000. We were looking at this property. It was a three bed, one bath. We're turning it into a four bedroom, two bath and it dramatically increased the value of that property. After you put in the after repaired value, then you wanna put in your desired profit. But before you do so, don't get too greedy. Research your local market. Go talk to investors, talk to brokers. What kind of margins are they seeing in the area you're looking for when flipping property? Be reasonable, that's how you're gonna get in the game. So typically in Seattle, we can make about a 12% return with the total cash invested. Or if we use leverage, we make about 35 to 40%. So in this property, we're paying 400,000. We're putting $100,000 in the renovation, and if we don't use leverage, that would tell us that we need to target a profit of roughly about $55,000. After you've entered in your after repair value and desire profit, the calculator's gonna have you start crunching these core costs. How is that profit going to be affected? So in Washington State, we typically pay about 1% closing costs when we're closing a property, especially with a loan. And so you're, we're gonna enter in our closing costs at 400,000, that would be $4,000 in closing costs. Then we're gonna go on to what is our net rehab cost? We have an estimated repair of $100,000. That is going to get us a full update on the property and add an extra bedroom and bathroom in this property. We're gonna take it from 960 square feet 
to uh, 1,150 square feet with a new primary. That's how we're increasing the, the value. For more information about how to estimate your rehab costs, check out my episode on Real Estate Rookies 165, where we teach a masterclass on how to calculate those costs. We've already calculated that we're gonna put $100,000 into this property to get it through that scope of work. We're gonna enter that into the rehab cost section. If you really wanna get granule, you then can actually do it line by line. You can hit paint, and you could put in, it needs 2,500. Roof, 7,000, and, and you can itemize out your budget so you can really see that tangible number. But for us, we already know our numbers, we have a construction estimate, we know we are at $100,000, so we're gonna put that in the repair costs. After you've entered in your rehab costs, now it's time to start crunching those soft costs, your holding costs, the things that really start eating away from your profit. What are your holding costs? It's gonna be a hard money payment, your property taxes, your utility bills, and the insurance. Insurance is really high right now. It costs a lot more as a flipper to insure your project than it used to. So you have to calculate all of these costs. You can either enter in your amount, let's say $6,000 a month, or instead of putting in a lump sum, as flippers, we really wanna to try to get exact. What are those monthly expenses? And so the benefit to this calculator is you can hit advanced here. And again, you can start adding in your own line items here. So right here, we have electricity. We can add that in. Roughly, it's gonna cost about 100 bucks a month. That popped up, that's about right. Water, about $50 a month. That's about right too. As we're running a job site, not much water is being used, but it's something that we wanna reference. The property tax, how you find your property tax information is when you contract the property or you're looking at a listing online, they're gonna tell you what that annual tax amount is. You're gonna take that annual tax and divide it by 12 and it's gonna give you that monthly expense. The annual taxes on this property are $3,500. So we're gonna divide that by 12 and that's gonna give us a cost of $291 a month. And then lastly, one of the major, major expenses is how are you paying for this property? Now, if you're cash, you don't need to put anything in there. Uh, but if you are using hard money, you wanna make sure that you're counting for these payments. So when we purchase these flip properties, we do construction loans. We use interest funding, our local hard money lender out of Bellevue, Washington. They give us construction loans where they're gonna finance us 80 to 85% of our total project costs. So for purchasing the property for 400, we're putting 100 in, and they're gonna give us a loan for 85% of the total project costs, they're gonna issue us a loan for 425,000. Now they do charge us 12% interest, but they get us access to these great construction terms. That payment at 12% interest is gonna be 4250 every month. We're gonna enter it in as a cost to the deal. And now we have all of our holding costs spelled out. We can look at them. We can see if we're missing anything and add them in later. The nice thing is you can always save this report and add in more costs later. Um, and so you can really crunch the numbers as you get closer to closing. So on this calculator, you wanna say how long is this gonna take? Typically for us on these flips, we average about five months. So this is gonna calculate five months of our total holding costs. Now. Randomly, this house is really close to me and Henry's flip-off house. And we did this one in about three and a half months because we just went pending on it. So it's all upside in the deal. But when we're looking at the Performa, if we get three and a half months, that's just more profit there. But when we walk in and as you're looking at these deals, go with the long times. Again, we go with our averages. It typically takes us five months. So we're going to put the, the slider at five months and that's going to calculate all of the right whole costs. After you calculated your whole costs and it starts calculating those, then you're gonna put in your sale costs. This is your real estate brokers that are gonna sell the property. Now, when we sell homes in Washington State, we use Heat and Dana Real Estate. They charge us a 3% commission and then the typical selling broker commission is 3% as well. So we're gonna put in 6% in commissions and then we're gonna start calculating the sale closing cost. Again, you can put in a lump number or you can use the advanced tab and start breaking them down. One of the benefits of using the advanced tab, especially for new flippers, is it already pulls out a bunch of costs that are typical in a transaction. So you don't have to think about it. It already has escrow fees at $1,350. Now you wanna spot check those fees because when we sell, in Washington, it costs us $350. As investors, always talk to your title reps, always talk to your title insurance. Typically, if you buy the property with them, they'll give you a deal on the, the sale. There's a little tip for you, save your money on your escrow fees. 
Then you have title insurance, which is roughly about $1,000. That's about right for this property. Then you can enter in your transfer tax. This is a cost to sell. So in Washington state, we have to pay anywhere between 1.25 and 3% transfer tax, depending on the sale price of the property. For this one, it's the sale price is 625,000, which is about a 1.5% charge in our local market. That's gonna be a cost of 93.75 when we sell this property. Now, not every state has transfer tax. You wanna research that. Do you have it? Account for these costs. Whatever other costs that you have in your local market, add them in, save them, and then it's gonna start calculating these profits. So once you've entered this in, you're gonna hit finish analysis. And there it is. Now you have your flip report. And this is why this performa is so cool. Um, I definitely, when we started flipping properties, we had very simple Excel spreadsheet. It didn't do what this did, right? It, you can put in photos, you can save a report, you put in all your information, and it's very active at the end of this report. So let's check this out. There's the address. We didn't put in a photo. But then after calculating what it was worth and what the rehab was and what our, our whole time was, it guides you on what your maxable allowable offer is. So we said that we wanted to make right around $55,000. That means that we can pay no more than $394,324 if we wanna hit that profit. So it's a great ride for flippers. As you're looking at a deal, you can get through, what's, the, what's my strike price, I put in my numbers, there it is. So the cool thing about this too is you can save this and it can be interactive and it can work with market changes. So maybe we give the seller an offer at 394,000 and they won't take it. They want 410,000 on this property, but we can't do it unless the property value goes up. We stay re-engaged with the seller. Maybe we check in with them in four months. We run a new after repaired value and we're going, oh wow, this is now worth 650,000, which it very could be. I sold my property on the flip off for 75 grand more. After the value raises to 651,000, now that seller's price actually is very reasonable. Not only that, it's actually an even better deal because once it went up to 650, your new strike price went up to 420,000. Same if the market's going backwards. Maybe you give an offer, the seller comes in and checks with you, market conditions got worse, it's now not worth 625, it's at worst 600, and it guides you to the new offer of 372. So you get a use with it, you can play with your values, you can have brokers give you feedback, and you can use it live. Next, it allows you to be interactive with your rehab costs. Let's say again, I'm working with that seller. They want the 400,000, I'm at 395, we can't quite get there. And then I get more quotes from a contractor and now my budget comes in to 90,000. It automatically now adjusts your price for you based on your rehab amount. So as you load this in, in your underwriting, working on your deal, and as you contract that property, as your costs come in, you can move it around and it's gonna adjust your strike price and tell you whether you need to get a discount when you go to buy or you can stay steady with the closing. In addition to, you can adjust your whole cost. Maybe you get a different quote for a hard money lender and the rate goes down by 400 bucks a month. You then can change it through here. You're now at 4,200. And again, it increases your maximal allowed offer. It's all based on that desired profit that you put in. And so you have this interactive calculator as the market moves, as you get information, it updates your offer in real time to meet you at that profit expectations. In addition to, you can update your purchase costs. Maybe that seller will split your closing costs with you and you can go down to now $2,000 in purchase costs. It will adjust your offer price and same with the sale costs. It allows you to mess with the commissions. Maybe you pay your broker 5.5%, 5%, 5%, 5% 4 so, uh, selling closing costs. Maybe your excise tax is going down. Maybe uh, your title and your escrow company are giving you lower quotes. The major benefit to this calculator is it's very interactive and as those costs come in, you can adjust it and it's gonna adjust that strike price to give you clarity on the deal. Remember, flipping is a very complex business. You're buying a property that's dilapidated and needs a lot of renovation. You're hiring third parties to come in and increase the value with a rehab plan at that point. You want to make sure that your numbers are solid going in and you have a little bit of buffer in those. The more thorough you are with your underwriting, what's your rehab budget? 
what's the after repair value. Use the bigger pockets perform a calculator to go through all of your costs, make all of your adjustments before you close that property to see your true profit. It's going to give you much more clarity in the deal and help you reduce risk in a very high risk investment. Now, remember, flipping homes can make you 30, 40, 50 percent returns. That is a massive return, but it comes with that risk. How we mitigate that risk is using good information and calculating it with the right spreadsheet. And that's what this bigger pockets flip calculator is for. It's gonna calculate this cost, get your strike price right. You can walk into a deal, mitigate the risk, and then get those massive cash grains to grow you as an investor. Now, once you're done, not only does it help you decide whether you should buy the deal or not buy the deal, it keeps you organized, right? And as a salesperson that's running all day long, doing job sites, managing people, I have to stay organized. So you save your changes and then you can go into all reports. In here, you're gonna have every property that you're currently working on that purchasing for a flip. By having it all organized as time goes, maybe as cost goes, you can always update it real time, adjust your numbers, adjust your strike price, and then get into that deal. So not only will it calculate your profit, it's gonna keep you organized too. It's a major benefit. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to calculate your profit on your next flip utilizing the Bigger Pockets flip calculator. If you did, hit like and subscribe below. And for more rehab tips and more underwriting tips, check me out on Instagram at jdaneflips or jamesdaner.com.